Hey my crafty critters, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Cami Ewalt, and today I want to show you guys the newest template I've made. It's this adorable 3D cable knit sweater pattern and this buffalo chick pattern combo that I then created this decal sweater weather out of a font and glyphs that I got from Creative Fabrica. I hand placed every letter. I just, I couldn't find something I liked online, so I just made my own. And then I created this decorative edging that comes on both sides of this v-split all of these components are available on my website in one file so definitely check it out and I will leave all the rest of the products that I use in this video down in the description so uh, let's get into it we're starting with a 20 ounce skinny straight tumbler from Makerflow crafts that I have sanded and washed I did not base paint it I then cut the template out of just some scrap 651 vinyl that I only use for this kind of stuff and I I wrapped it around the cup making sure that it's lined up exactly where it needs to be and then I secured it at the top with a little piece of transfer tape. I then take off the top portion just about an inch and cut off about an inch of that backing. Then I just guide that vinyl down onto the cup making sure that I'm still straight up on the top and the bottom there. And then I'm going to flip it over and with my squeegee, I'm going to be pushing down on the front of this transfer tape as the backing is kind of, it just kind of gradually comes off on its own. It's pretty magical. But we're smoothing this vinyl down onto the cup to ensure that we don't trap any bubbles in there. So as soon as that comes all the way across the other side, I'm going to just really press down that transfer tape and vinyl, making sure it's good and secure. And then I take that transfer tape and peel it back on itself. This is going to make sure that for the most part, we don't take up any vinyl. If you do get a little piece here and there, just push it back down. I then mix some of this Color Flex glitter glue in with just a little bit of acrylic paint. Remember this because it's going to come into play here in a little while. So I just got a color that I thought was similar to the to the glitter that I'm using, mix it all up, and then I'm going to tape off the edge of the cable knit sweater to make sure that I don't get any paint over on that side. We're going to deal with that here in a few minutes. And with my painter's tape, I like to press it to my shirt or my pants or something to remove some of the stickiness so we're not as likely to pull up any of this vinyl when remove, we, we remove this tape. Goodness! And then I just do the same thing on the other side. And I went ahead and marked the squares just to keep myself straight and take off all of the squares that coordinate with the color that I'm working on. So right now I'm working on red, put down some paint, come over it with this beautiful holographic red from Grateful Glitters. It's called Thin Red Line. I will leave a link to it in the description. And by the time you get all of the squares painted and glittered, it's pretty much dry. So then I go through and put another coat of paint and then glitter on just to make sure I have a super solid coverage. I then am going to use another bit of this Colorflex glitter glue mixed with some red acrylic paint with just a little dab of black to make it kind of darker. And we're going to put this under a 50-50 mix of the Thin Red Line glitter and the black, which is Starry Night, also from Grateful Glitters. And this is going to be our mid color of our Buffalo check.
second verse, same as the first <laughs> and the second. So this is obviously very repetitive, but you just come through and I am mixing another little dab of Colorflex glitter glue with just straight black acrylic paint this time. And I'm going to put this under just the pure starry night glitters. And I zoomed in here so you guys could kind of see I've got an angled flat tipped brush which really helps me get into the corners very well. And I'm not like trying to paint a straight line because I'm not that good, y'all. I am just kind of setting my brush down and pulling away from the edge of that glitter just to make sure that I've got a little dab of glue and paint there. But I... I don't even pretend to be able to draw a straight line. <laughs> so this really helps me. So I hope it helps somebody else too. And then at the end, if I have any spots that like right in the corners, a lot of times I'll miss a spot here and there. I'll just go in with a little tiny brush, dab some paint and put some glitter and there we go. So then I take my tape off and you want to do this kind of carefully because as you can see here, I just pulled off a piece of a vinyl, but no problem. I just took it off with my tweezers and put it right back where it goes. And now for the magic part. <laughs> so I forgot to film the first part of this. I really thought I was recording, but I'm just taking this puffy paint. And on the first round, I used that green vinyl as kind of just a template of where I was putting my puffy paint. I allowed that to completely dry. And then I'm coming over it again with a second coat just to make sure it's really good and raised up. And I know it looks like I'm shaking. What I'm doing is dabbing it up and down and using the nozzle of this puffy paint to kind of guide that paint where I want it to go. This is just really, really sped up so I don't bore you to tears. So then if there's any parts that you kind of go out of the lines or have a blip and need to put back in its place, I just take my paintbrush and run right down the side. And I'm not too worried about like if I smooth it onto the cup as long as it is smooth in between because we're going to paint it next. So then I let that completely dry. I'm going to take my cup and use this cup edging tool from Cami Page Boutique and just slice across the bottom and take my weeding tool and pick off the vinyl and the puffy paint down on the bottom. That way we don't have any like bumps and lumps on the bottom to contend with when we epoxy over the end of that. It will be completely smooth and the puffy paint will be completely sealed in. Speaking of sealed in, I then take it outside and spray a coat of clear Rust-Oleum spray paint just to make sure that I kind of tack my glitter in place so that I'm not smearing it all over. I then let that completely dry, bring it back in, and then I'm putting a coat of polycrylic on this to really make sure my glitter is completely sealed in. That's very important for when we tape it off in the next step. I wound up letting that dry overnight and then I'm going to move on and tape off the buffalo check part of this tumbler. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to be spray painting the sweater part with a matte white Rust-Oleum spray paint and then we will move on to the next part. And once I spray painted, I come back in and I just immediately start taking off the tape. So this is where things went horribly wrong. When I'm pulling up this other side, I start to notice that it's bringing up the paint and the glitter and I'm so bummed. I reached out to the company and they feel like with this Colorflex glue, 
acrylic paint is not the best option. They do have another paint that you can tint this glue with. But then I just re-coated it and re-glittered it and resealed it and let it completely dry in between each of those and moved on. I was really worried that you were gonna be able to see all of this underneath the epoxy, but it actually turned out totally fine. I then mixed up about 20 milliliters of Artistry Fast Set Epoxy. I only wound up using about 10 milliliters though. And I just used my finger to carefully go along the edge of that buffalo check and in all of these ridges and crevices. And then I'm gonna use Snow White from Grateful Glitters for the white part. I'm gonna pop it on my turner and because this is fast set, I can get back to this in about an hour. I then went in with a second coat of about 30 milliliters and I wound up coating the entire tumbler, the buffalo check and the sweater part. I then let that cure for about six hours and I did one more coat. I just wanted to make sure that I had everything good and sealed in. And then I cut this decorative edging and the offset of the decal words that I did in this beautiful holographic starlight brush silver vinyl I got off of Amazon. You guys, the prismatic effects of this vinyl are stinking gorgeous. Look at the sheet of it on the table there. And I just trimmed the top up at the rim at a really steep angle with a craft knife. And then I come down and kind of do the same thing down into a V at the bottom of the cup. I then work on adhering this offset of this decal that I made. Like I said at the beginning, I used letters and glyphs from a font that I got off of Creative Fabrica. And you guys, they are having a special. You can get a free sign up right now for their monthly membership. And then it renews at only $19 instead of the normal $29. So I will definitely put a link in the description. They have seriously over 6 million fonts and graphics and stuff like that that you can choose from. You can download as much as you want. And it all comes with a commercial license, so you don't have to worry about getting in trouble. So then we move into this black holographic vinyl that I also got in a pack off of Amazon. And I start with just taking the loose letters first and putting them on instead of trying to maneuver around it. A lot of times I will layer this up on the table beforehand and then put it on the cup. But I wanted to show you guys if you guys wanted a different route to take. This is the other way that I would do it. So I just, as best I can, get it on there straight. Then after I'm all done with this, I will go through and I'm going to seal it with a coat of polyacrylic to make sure that I don't get any fish eyes, to make sure that my vinyl doesn't raise up when I epoxy. It just kind of is an insurance policy to make sure all of this vinyl stays right where it's supposed to be. After this polyacrylic dries, then I go in with one of two final coats of epoxy. The very final coat I put over the rainbow from Grateful Glitters. It's a top coat additive. It just adds a little bit of holographic shimmer just to kind of tie it all in. Oh my gosh, you guys, this tumbler is hands down the most favorite tumbler I have ever ever made. It has so many components that I love. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you have questions or comments, leave those down there too. If you guys have any suggestions on things that you might like to see on the channel coming up, let me know. I am making the schedule for next year already. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you love this tutorial as much as I loved making it for you guys. And if you guys want to see another video, check this one out here and I will see you on the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.